I have right here in my utility belt. Welcome to What Gear Reviews, you legendary tech fans. If you like smartphone reviews, headphone reviews, speaker reviews, and loads of other tech related stuff, consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. And today, we're looking at a brand new secret weapon that Huawei have just released for their devices. You ready? Let's go. So I can honestly say, I think the Huawei P40 Pro and P40 Pro Plus are some of the most beautifully designed flagship smartphones you can get this year. The frosted finish on the back and the curved edges and the rounded corners make it probably the most comfortable phone I've ever tested on this channel. And the gesture navigation controls work so seamlessly with this because of that sort of rounded edge design. The OLED screen is beautiful and very color accurate. It's also got a high refresh rate, which is the staple of this year's flagship smartphones. It's got a huge battery. It's got super fast charging and wireless charging compatibility as well. Now combine all of those amazing features with amazing camera hardware, which includes an insane 50X periscope zoom and a very large 50 megapixel quad Bayer primary camera sensor that's backed up with class leading low light camera software. And what you've got is one of the mightiest smartphones of 2020. Now I know what you're thinking. What about the apps? Well, like I said at the beginning of the video, Huawei have a new tool in the utility belt. And that is what this video is all about. Why, that's it. Of course. It's called Huawei Petal Search. So let me show you how to get the most from the new Huawei Petal Search app. So Huawei have been thinking outside of the Google box here and have designed this awesome new tool, not just to help you find apps, but also to help you discover news articles, videos, images, everything all in one place. So check this out. Let's say you want to find what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. You can type that into Petal Search and straight away you've got data pulled from web search. You've got recommended weather apps to choose from. You've got the news surrounding the weather and also images and video too. So you can see how this one single app combines a lot of useful features all in one place, which in my opinion improves the P40 Pro's usability considerably. Just going back to the app section of Petal Search now, essentially what Petal Search does is collate apps from Huawei's own app gallery as well as all the verified third party APK sites. Petal Search sorts them out for you and will even scan them for security threats before installing them on your device. So it solves a lot of problems when it comes to downloading and installing third party apps safely. For example, apps like Netflix and Amazon and Instagram and Snapchat can be found on Huawei Petal Search, downloaded and installed safely. So what I wanna do now is show you guys how I've set up my Huawei P40 Pro without using Google Play services, but instead using Huawei Petal Search. And I'll show you some of the workarounds that I've come up with to replace the Google apps that I normally use. So I've replaced the Google search bar that's on the home screen with the Huawei Petal Search bar. So if I ever wanna search a topic or a video, or if I wanna find an app, I can do it right here using the Huawei Petal Search bar on the home screen. And that's really awesome. And it really is the perfect replacement for that Google search bar, except it doesn't have a voice assistant. So check this out. I used Huawei Petal Search to download Amazon's Alexa. So I'm using Alexa as my main AI assistant on the Huawei P40 Pro. And Amazon Alexa can actually do some stuff that the Google Assistant can't, like order some groceries for me and manage my home automation stuff because most of it is Alexa-based smart home products. So the usual contacts, gallery, calculator are already preloaded, so no need to mess with those. But now when it comes to stuff like Google Keep, which is my normal app for keeping notes, I've replaced this with Microsoft's OneNote, which works well and syncs up over the cloud just like Keep does. And my replacement for Google Maps is Waze, which I actually think is better in some ways with its community driven traffic updates. Quite often it's saved me quite a lot of time. And here's what I use for my cloud storage photos. It's Amazon Photos. And replacing my Gmail is Microsoft Outlook. And replacing my Google Drive is Microsoft OneDrive. So here's a big one and it's YouTube. So you can't download the APK and even if you do, it won't let you install it. But using Huawei's Petal Search, I can easily add a custom shortcut to the home screen 
and this shortcut opens up YouTube's mobile optimized web page, which looks almost identical to the app itself. So you can log in with your Gmail, you have all your subscriptions there, you can still create playlists and watch later and all the stuff that you can do on the app. And Huawei Petal Search just makes it really easy to do. So let me show you that. All you do is type in what you're looking for, choose the app from the list, it will take you to a third party host where you can hit download and Petal Search will do the rest. It really is that easy. And not only can you install apps, you can actually update the apps later on as well. So going back into Petal Search, you can go to the me section on Petal Search. It will show you all your downloads there. And across the top, you'll see updates and you'll be able to see all of the apps that have available updates. And you can update those easily using Petal Search. So whenever there's a problem, there's always a solution. And the Huawei Petal Search right now is the best solution for the Huawei P40 Pro when it comes to installing third party apps. If you've got a Huawei device, I suggest you download the Petal Search from the Huawei App Gallery, test it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this one, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't be late.